Hey there guys, Jimmy from Glassy Gaming here bringing you episode 2 of Trade Talk. This one is going to be very simple. It's the topic about entering the unusual slash knife slash whatever market. This isn't really geared for more veteran traders. This is more for the people that want to break into say their first unusual or their first knife. It's pretty similar for both TF2 and CSGO, so again, this is kind of a joint video. But regardless, let's get into it. First off, the most obvious way to get into the market for either one is to unbox an unusual or to unbox a knife. That's actually how I personally got into the market was I made a lot of profit on some keys and I had a bunch of keys left over, so I decided to try unboxing and I unboxed a Burning Flames Handyman's Handle like way back when trading first came out. So that was a long, long, long time ago. That was my entrance because I got lucky. Not everyone can be that lucky and honestly, trying to unbox is kind of a difficult thing. The next one is buying unusuals and or knives with cash. This is a bit more for the people with deep pockets that don't mind throwing money at a screen. I personally don't like this method because I don't like spending money on video games like that, but hey, some people do and that's okay. If you want to do this, I would suggest either buying keys or trying to work up enough rep to buy an unusual. What you buy is up to you and how much money you have. You can buy a really crappy unusual or a really nice unusual, it's up to you. I would go for a quick sell because I am a greedy person and I would assume that most people that want to enter the market are trying to get profit so you might want to go for a quick sell yourself. The third best way, which is my favorite way personally, it's it's how, because I've cashed out several times and every single time I've used this method to get back in and that is trading up for one. You start off with nothing or you know a couple refined or some weapons whatever and you work your way up. You work your way up until you get enough keys to buy a crappy, low-tier, unusual, and or knife. And usually this means something like, say, if you're talking TF2, a nuts and bolts Mongolian, or, I don't know, a flies detective nor, or something small that isn't very valuable, and you try and get it, say, like, half off or something like that. And that way you have decent room for profit, despite it being a small, low-tier unusual. And you just work up from there. Or if it's CSGO, you buy, say, a well-worn gut knife safari mesh or something really bad like that. You know, and you just work your way up very slowly. It takes time, don't get me wrong. You have to look for a good deal, then you gotta look for more good deals on top of that. And it takes a lot of time, but as you make, you know, more and more trades, you'll start to build up, you know, more wealth and you'll start to get your dreams going. You know what I mean? Anyone can do this. Anyone can amass, you know, a small amount of keys and buy a shitty unusual. It does get harder as key prices go up, but it's still possible. I know you can do it. The final way, and this is a way that I do not suggest to anyone, is to scam and or shark unusual slash knives. If you do this, this reputation will carry with you for a very long time, possibly until trading ends, which I don't think anyone really wants to, you know, chance that, but hey, if you're that stupid, go for it. But regardless, do not enter the market this way. It's a shitty way to go about doing things. You will attract a lot of hate and no one will like you. Seriously, no one will like you. You won't have any friends. You won't make any friends. People won't trade with you, etc., etc., etc. So do not enter the market this way. That's a very stupid way to enter the market. Okay? I'm, I'm serious. Don't turn... Motherfucker! You understand? Good. You better understand. No scamming and no sharking in my fucking house. Okay? Okay. Thank you for listening. I hope this was somewhat informative to you. As always, GG. Peace the fuck out.